This is how much I want this run, man. Like, I wouldn't even think about starting this run at 10pm normally, but I want this run. So bad. That's like a shot fired at yourself, Linky. I'm impressed. Go check out the latest Nintendo news. Nah, no, I'm good. Uh, anything interesting happening? Internet? Right. Oh, actually, um, we're now on no reset mode anyway. <laughs> no. I won't look. I'm busy. <sighs> Unidentified vessel, please switch to a secure radio frequency and transmit your identity code. We are standing by. Kind of annoying that I lost that run, but <laughs> having a shit tier Mogna and then losing time with a shit tier Mogna is not something I want to be doing. Also, he did kind of troll me. Well, I just kind of trolled myself. Well, no, he trolled me because, like, I always destroy the top left one first, and what I should have done is I should have. I should have stuck with the one I'd already damaged, because then I would have been able to set up for uh, uh, Rock Smash Kit for a lot easier. But I just completely dubbed then, I just completely forgot that I couldn't... I had to destroy his feet after the third. And I, I couldn't think, and I was just like, ah, I fucked everything up. Because I was just so un unused to things going wrong. I mean, now that I think back on it, I was like, wow, I'm being a fucking idiot. But, you know, at the time, you're like, panicking, because it's like, ah, bad things are happening. Oh, I called in missiles as well, that's what I called it. I knew something else. Early run. It's not always when there's problems, it's just when I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Like when Gandrider goes bad, I just know. Oh, that's just because it's inconsistent and I tried to do it YOLO setup plus and that was silly. <laughs> cool, it's a strain to instant more. Samus Aaron. Samus Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know you meant today. Don't worry, I know what you meant. I was just saying, I don't feel like I'm freaking out any more than normal. It's just the difference between trying something like that setup and failing it a couple of times so you do it some more, or just, you know, calming down and do it with a setup and taking a couple of seconds lost. Alright, see ya, Linky. Found it was worth the risk, but you know, clearly not. Bye! Hopefully, we get a good Berserker Lord, not now, because if I reset after an hour and I get a two round Berserker Lord again, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> so mad. What are we doing? That's a bit harsh. Now you have some animosity towards Linky, but you could at least try and be civil. Oh, nice. So in theory, this gets a bit 40 missile launcher if I play well. That's the potential to be anyway.
Oops, why did I try that? Oh. Should have morphed earlier. I don't think it's a matter. Too much. I change lock on free aim. I guess we're about to find out. Basically, get to find out in the room before the pirates. It's like can turn it on if necessary. Although, I'll waste ten seconds to turn it on. So, what happens? I didn't turn lock on free aim. It's just potentially silly doing it here instead of after this pirate fight, but I need to practice this pirate fight with it on, with it off. So I should get good at doing it. Yeah, I'm listening, we break. You good. <laughs> I am intrigued. <laughs> Are they having cat fights and stuff all the time? Because that's not fun, but kind of amusing. Motherfucker! Are you serious? I would just like to point out that during that split I paused and turned lock on free aim off. I paused. I lost 5 seconds to a pause. That would have been sub 40 missiles. What the actual fuck, Chris? How are you playing this game so much today? I'm like surprised at myself. Zuckle trolls me, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> I'm gonna be very sad. Because in terms of in-game time, I'm about 20 seconds ahead right now. Like, I'm 10 seconds up on my actual real-time split. But dude, I'm getting good at that missile segment, I guess. Which is nice. Also, I should- I need to start a run at 10pm. Like, I just realised that I should probably start a run at 10pm just to be practiced for being asleep. Oh, uh, fair enough. Butter my sister cat's butt. Oh my god, that's funny. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Good, 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 good boy. Bye for mommy. Thank you. I'll take it. Oh, I won't tell you how to drop apparently. No way. No half drops for me. What a shame. Mm. 
I don't know. Butt of my sister's cat butts is pretty funny as a phrase, but you know. <laughs> you should always read the entire quote, Dimbro. Alex, please. <laughs> that shit's nasty. I didn't even notice that because it was hidden behind a leave message. This is why we turn lock on free aim. So I can do shit like this and mess up. Never mind. I'll shut up now. I'll just stop talking forever. Nice. Still ahead of grapple. Dude, I was on the sub 11.30 grapple. Ah! <laughs> 11.30 grapple is like super crazy optimal. For the strats I use and stuff. Actually, it's generally it's pretty crazy optimal. And yeah, Deanbury is actually correct. Don't ask me why I know this, because I don't really know why I know this, but it doesn't have an A. But yeah, let's not talk about that anymore. Notice how I've avoided saying the word on stream, because I don't want to say that on stream. Yeah, let's just stop the discussion before it gets creepy, please. Thank you. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. YOLO! Oh, baby. I'm so glad I reset right now because this one's going much better. <laughs> for this fight this time. So I got that guy for me. Well, there was actually wasn't too bad for this fight. Interestingly enough, not really something I've done before, but honestly it wasn't too terrible. If I was in a segmented run, I could probably segment it over them. Segment on the ship. Oh, dude, I'm meant to be over here. Panic! Okay, we're good. We're not good. Where is he? Okay, we're good. Ooh, that's a bit close. Kamikaze percent, clearly playing the Japanese version, can't be. Good. Dang! Dang! Damn! This is good split. Party cycle, good fight. Oh, nice dash as well. Sub free landing? Wow. Yeah, this split is pretty damn good. See if I get an accidental snipe again though, because that pretty much saved the split last time, so it would only make this one better. Too slow. I need to learn the order these guys spawn in so I can snipe them better. Where are you, where are you going? Where are you going?
So just for reference, I actually thought I'd never gold split on this again. Um, just because I started including that pause, but there's actually a chance that this might overall gold split. Which would be convenient, because then I don't have to delete some gold splits because of that menuing. But I mean, I kind of proved I didn't have to on the missile launcher already, so... Yeah, damn, this is going well. Pretty well. Vamos, are you reading me? Something big is yeah, happening damn, here. this gold split. What in the name of... Holy shit. Holy shit. Bang. Famous is heading right at you. That's why the pirates disabled the defense system. They intend to smash this thing into Noria. Get that cannon back online, or everyone down there is as good as dead. Question, I don't know what my camera was doing. Oh, Alex is all alone in my chat. <laughs> But yeah, I'm probably going to get for like 10 tomorrow, Alex, to be honest. 10 or 11. Probably more like 10, although I might get up at 11, depending on if I can be bothered to wake up or not. It all depends, we'll see. Depends on I could have sleep, which is the more important issue. Ugh, get in the... Oh. Santa's getting the goddamn hole. Riddles plus. Riddles plus. Riddles, what are you doing? Riddles plus. Ooh, that's sick. Okay. Nice. That's pretty quick. Samus, I was able to get you. My sound's glitching. I do that with an unlocked camera is like the hardest thing in this game. Is anyone else hearing any sound distortions or is it just me? I'm like the bass line's distorting pretty harshly there when I was walking into that room. Or is it literally just some weirdness meaning that you guys can't hear it like again? Because if it is, I don't know what's causing it, but if it's not, then it's my game disc. Just me? What the fuck? It's really weird, man. Like, it's so weird that you can't hear this. Like, it's so weird. Because it's not even the entire sound distorts. It's like different tracks like drop in and out of the music, which makes me think that it can only be, you know, that actually makes me think it has to be 
um, a game issue, but unless it's certain channels on my like audio capture is just like distorting or something, which is just really strange, but in some ways makes a lot of sense, I guess. Not really, well, it doesn't really make sense, but it's a viable explanation. You're getting them. Hey, Blue Ridley. <laughs> Fucker! Unfortunately, I'm about to destroy your metal rubber, so I apologize in advance. I have no idea what this place is like, but it's decent. Uh, I think this is like a 536. Less than the 536. Might have been less than the 536. Not a gold, but almost a gold. Wow. Wait a minute. Take my charge beam for face Ridley. Take it. Take it all. I missed. Fuck. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's just hilarious. <laughs> Take it all. Oh, I missed. Whoops, my bad. Okay, maybe? Oh, yeah. That snipe was glorious. I like to think meta Ridley in this game is meta because it's like the first time that Ridley's kind of the first boss of the game in the Metroid series. So it's kind of like a commentary on it himself. He's actually like the first and the kind of penultimate boss I guess if you're counting the last three bosses as a single boss which you can do. Like they are technically all Metroid Prime if you're gonna argue it really. Well, technically, he's the second in the penultimate boss encounter in the game. Because you have Berserk Lord before him, and you have the boss go on there at the end of him, after him. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Also, it's nice still being ahead coming out of Meta Ridley for once. Even though I lost time on Meta Ridley. Like, this has been a really solid Norian, man. Last run was a solid Norian, but this is an even solider Norian. Solider, that's a word, honest. I'm kind of rambling a bit, sorry. Yeah, um, a lot of the music in this game is really good, in my opinion. Like, a lot of the boss music is really well done, and a lot of the atmospheric stuff is really nice as well. Uh, I know a lot of people have issues that they didn't kind of use tracks that have been used in the franchise before. You know, they're like, oh, why didn't you remix these tracks? Because they're amazing, and you did that for like every other Prime game, and they're like, no. But <laughs> the music in this game is really good, I think. Especially some of the boss themes are really strong. I mean,. The background music itself is like okay, but oh my god, some of those boss themes are like Dark Samus. Wah, oh my god, that music. Dark Samus music is so badass. The Aurora unit music is good as well. It's a shame you don't really hear much of it in the run because you kind of beat them pretty quickly. Oh wow, are you serious? Mm. So yeah, it's kind of a silly place. I don't know why. But I mean, most of the Ridley encounters in the Prime series have that same bass as his music. Like, they're all pretty much remixes of his Super Mission. F uh, yeah, Super Metroid. It's gonna say Super Mission, then I was like, that's not a game. <laughs> Fuck. 
Da ein Gruhe. We were about to leave you behind. The meteor is approaching faster than you think. If we don't make it to the top in time, we can kiss this planet goodbye. Some really good guys. Just a super fan. I love that stuff. Right, Samus. Right here. Let's just do this. Okay, we got some text mashing now for a bit. Yay! Don't have to do anything. She's coming too. Can you hear me, Samus? Vital signs are stable. Welcome back, Samus. You've been asleep for quite some time. A month, to be exact. We feared we'd lost you. Thanks to your great work, at the end of the battle, we... What's even stranger, during the invasion, we integrated this same Phazon enhancement device into your armor while repairing your damaged bodysuit. Troopers wearing this device. But in your case, think about it. With this phase on coursing through your body, you can fuel the PED using your own internal energy. Pretty effective, don't you think? No. Why don't you try the PED now? Seal the room. Initiate PED program. Mache hopeless. Recharging energy reserves. Complete. You must have noticed during this test over the past month, we've learned now that you are familiar with the we better get going. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, one more thing. Fanfare! Dude, that's such a sick PED time though. Oh my god, this run is so good so far. Like, being at 14 seconds ahead here is pretty ridiculous. I mean, I think my summer best was minus 21 at the end of Norian. Which is this point, and that's like insane that I'm basically pretty close to that pace. Only losing 7 seconds to my Zara Best in 27 minutes is pretty ridiculous. Oh, 28 seconds. Okay, so I lost 14. But still, I gained over half the difference to my Zara Best. I'm pretty happy with that. And my Zara Best is accurate at the moment. Hey, Takada. But it's a good start, at least. We do still have a lot of runs to go, but I do kind of have a few kind of nice time checkpoints that I like to hit, mid, like hit. and a sub 28 PED was a long time goal and I got that last run and now I've just got like 2744 really easily so it's pretty cool also hey TLDR, we send people out to investigate and we lost them, go find them.
Samus. You will not be able to. We need. You are near. If you can. Return. Gonna be no, it's not. I was gonna say this is gonna be a sub 33 grapple swing, but no, that's not fucking possible. Though. <laughs> I'm glad that they've got so good at that. I thought it was a 50 though, but I didn't get a 50. Whatever. Let's see if I get a weird ripped into the spawns again or not. Oh nice, I got the good one. today. Two gold grapple swing splits in a row, that's pretty sick. Yeah, I mean, if I hear it happen, I'll point it out so that people can tell me if they can hear it or not as well. So it would be handy to know if it is on over my end only or global thing. I love that morph slot being just the right distance away that you morph kind of mache and you'll get. No, that's a door, that's not a bomb. What am I doing? Doesn't matter. I haven't heard it for a little bit, but at the certain points I just don't listen to the music necessarily. Ah, I didn't get the door. That's something I almost want to try home buffering. But it's not really worth it because it doesn't really make the door load any quicker. I jumped. I jumped! I jumped! I'm gonna jump. As soon as this finishes, I'm gonna jump. Because I pressed B. A little bit too early. Told you. I was trying to match the cutscene that I stopped pressing A before I stopped pressing B. So there was a B press once the cutscene had finished. Oh 
We're not hearing it at the moment. It usually happens pretty badly in um, Brio Thor. So we'll see. It starts a bit there, but it always starts there. That's just a consequence of loading or something, I don't know. Why isn't it an unmorph, bro? That was a good split actually. Well, it's gonna be a good split when I come to split. It might even be a goal, I'm not entirely sure. Depends how long this loading is. Oh, dude, this is a pretty sick goal. My early game splits are getting wrecked today, holy shit. See, if you had asked me after the last run, I would have said my Brio and Norium were very good, and I'd be very happy just to stay pace with them in that run, and yet, this is happening, so... That's cool. Um, fuck. That was close. I was almost in the room too long, so the other guy almost spawned, which would have given me severe issues. Get over there. I need to brush up on my room notes before my ESA run. That's something that I need to do. Ooh, a 50! Nice drops, bro. on that drop. The drop doesn't want me. It's over there, okay. I'll get it when I potentially cross over from side to side, if not I'm gonna have to get the 50 health in the pirate fight and that's gonna be annoying. Or I'm just gonna have to kinda YOLO run just a little bit. Wow, hello. Ah, uh, no, fuck you, dude. None of my shots are here, man. Bullshit. Oh, I think I'm about... 
Now yeah, about six seconds to find my gold, so this is probably going to be around a 6.05. I'm probably going to draw even on this split or lose a couple of seconds. Or we'll be saving the possible nine that I could have done. But that split was pretty much like damn near perfect. Like, yeah. As much as I don't mind you just going through the quotes, don't spam it too much. I guess it's all a bit Syrian. Um, no half drop? Are you serious? This is really bad. Okay. The game doesn't want me to have two tanks going into Rundus at all. Hello. There's pirates! No. Is there any others? Okay. God damn, that made that shit. Wait, how much health do I have? Uh, I may have just... Snook myself. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. I am incredibly lucky. Okay, I'm not even mad that I'm losing time now because that was very close to being a complete disaster, so... Be cool. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, we cool. Oh, no, we're not cool. I have less than that, you tank. This is gonna be scary. This next this room is gonna be pretty scary. Um, the next room is gonna be semi scary. Eat. Actually, no, we're fine. Two damage from a time on the floor. There's nothing in here that can deal 50 damage in one shot, so we're fine. And nothing in the large room is going to do enough damage to cause any issues. Okay. Oops. That's fine, it still takes what? Anyway. Interesting.
normally it takes a while anyway, but clearly not today. Okay, we're fine. Still decently fast, but two ice bits off striders and eh. the issue I have with this, this split is that I can't tell how it's going until I get to the end, and I don't want to split it into a smaller thing. So I kind of just blindly go, hope it's going well, and then I arrive at the last room, and I know if I've wasted a lot of time or not. It's kind of a bit of a pain, but. I wonder if Gandride is going to be nice to me as a birthday present today, considering it'll be my birthday by the time I get to her. I think? Yeah, it will. Around a quarter. It's not even... It's like, what, 205, 210? Yeah. And sub 210 at least is the goal, and 15 minutes after that, so yeah. If we had a perfect Gandrider, that'd be pretty good. Although, that basically mean I never want to do runs again against these splits, because... This one's going very well. It appears we did not. We are. Please be. You must. In the least. There's always one. 
Oh, always. Oh, There's every other run there is one. He tries to hide. Um, this is a decent split. I can definitely save time. Uh, I probably won't get gold or near it. I'll probably be around uh, 8 flat on this, I think, as long as things don't go badly. Maybe I'm a little bit under 8. I popped in two entire e texts as well. Interesting. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm losing time on a split. Right. That was a really bad jump. Oh wow! What am I doing? Hello. Two failed jumps. This is really bad. <laughs> like really bad. Okay, calm. Approach the corner. Jump. Jump. Okay, we're in there. Whew. Three dose face, no face. Hey, one ups. Thanks, man. Sorry I'm not talking, but as you can see, I kind of get myself pretty flustered when I start making mistakes in this run and talking to people just distracts me further. But how are you? Assume you want to talk <laughs> without using Mumble. If you don't, I'm cool with that as well. Okay, yeah. So, still ahead. Uh, lost quite a bit of time. But, you know, failing that jump twice is pretty unideal, so whatever. I'm just happy that I'm still ahead, actually. Wow, I'm actually still ahead. Okay, cool. Ah, fair enough. Can you Java like a pro now, Kappa V? Concentrate on my run. Well, if I'm replying to chat, then I can reply when I have convenient bits like this where I don't have to focus on anything, and then I can just ignore it when I have intense bits. It's just when people are talking, like especially when we get a lot of people talking, it's hard to get people to shut up at the right times when I want to focus. And usually those times are only for like a couple of seconds, and then I'm back to being normal again. And it's hard to just mute and unmute all the time. So yeah. Oh, nice and stumble. Yeah, I would love to, although there's not really a convenient place to put that button unless it's on my controller. And <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So, yeah. This is kind of bad. Yeah. Jump around, jump around! Okay. Ooh. Um, that was very lucky. I got phase on overloaded, but I managed to let off the ship missile before the um, game kicked me out of the, com the command visor, so I got very lucky there. <laughs> well. Do it. <laughs> if only it was that easy. Unfortunately, you can't really get a Wiimote to connect two things at once because it's Bluetooth. And sending the Wiimote signal on and getting it picked up by like by a Wii from a computer is going to be hard enough because it probably hardware scans and you can't really intercept the signal and pass it through anyway because again it's Bluetooth so yeah unless you can get a little box that like goes in between oh it was IR not what? what do you mean? I am confused you are not not you are an intelligent person If you mean what I got very lucky about, then don't worry about it, I was really talking to myself. Oh cool, gold split. Might not be ahead after this split, this split has a tendency to strong me pretty hard. Ah, okay. Yeah, I thought it was game stuff, yeah, like, it was mainly for my own benefit, you know, I wanted to vent. <laughs> And if anyone's watching who knows the game, they can then be like, yeah, lol. 
I'm not really saying it to you or to anyone in general, I'm just saying it for the purpose of <laughs> explaining that something was close. But again, if you don't know the game, then you probably didn't realise something was about to happen that was bad, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, see you Alex. Good night. But yeah, I'm having good runs today. So I had a run that got up to the Mognar split, which is the end of Bria. Like the end of the kind of first main planet. And I was like ahead. And then I started derping really hard. I completely messed up the boss fight. And then I just got to the point that I was just running around in the boss fight and I had no idea what to do. And like, it was so obvious, man. I was just being a complete dumb fuck. And it was hilarious. Because then I died and I was just like, right, I guess I'm actually going to reset. And then it was like, huh. Why am I such an idiot? Like, I just kind of reset, I just sat on the title screen, I was just like... <sighs> Go stream bomb. One ups, please, he doesn't need any encouragement. The thing is, I wouldn't be able to hear him because I have my headset on. So he could do that pretty successfully. Not that I want him to. Also, this health is really bad. This is better. It's still not ideal. It's not really an issue though. Because I'll get a heal before. Oh, or I'll just get a really nice health drop. Okay. But I'll also get to heal before anything crazy happens, so just not too bad. Um, Puma can just there, it distorted slightly in the base. You probably didn't notice it, but I know what I'm listening for because I've listened to this game a lot. Ugh. Okay, I didn't think I was going to make that jump then. kind of randomly peeks a bit. This track in particular is pretty bad for it. There, again. Again. Just like all now, it's distorting pretty hard. Do you know, I want to go hype mode, I want to take out this guy. And then I want to grab any health Oh god. Oh god, this health is really bad. Really bad. Uh... He's gonna half drop. Good enough. Um, that was bad. Really bad. That was really bad. Hmm. Okay, slightly behind. Lever. That's fine. Eleven seconds to save on this split, and then there's almost a minute to save on the next one. But this health is really bad, and I could really do with a health drop right now. Oh, I think I got a loading trigger. Because, well, at least I killed both pirates, but right now, this is just, like sketch percent. Like, no thanks. I want health. Because there is an enemy a little bit, in a couple of rooms that can pretty hardly troll me. Troll me pretty hardly. I know what I mean. Whatever one. <laughs> Yeah, man. I mean, this run was good, but I made a couple of silly jumps at some point, so whatever. A little too fast. I mean, the thing is, um, these splits are very good for this section, at least. Um, in fact, all the way through the first kind of two hours, my splits are very good, I'd say. Maybe a little bit under two hours, maybe more like an hour and three quarters. There's not really any bad splits overall, except for... Mognar Hyperball in which I can save almost a minute. That's like the only real bad thing that happened in the first like two hours of the run. So yeah, I'm pretty psyched to be saving some time. So I mean, sub 110 Brio was the dream for a long time, then I got sub 110 the last couple of runs, and now I know that sub 19 is so super possible, it's ridiculous. So hopefully sub 109 will happen today. And then hopefully we get a sub 210 Alicia. And yeah. Maybe even save some more time at the end of the run and see where it goes from that. Fire. Be 
If I hadn't lost any time from Bria Fire Landing and I'd saved the full 55 seconds, I'd be, what, a minute 31 ahead? And my summer best is 210. So, like, the summer best difference is 210. So I was going to be within 40 seconds of my summer best coming off the first planet, which is over an hour in, which I think is pretty damn good for a run of this length and this kind of, you know, amount of optimization and stuff. Just general technique and everything. I missed the slightly faster strat in this room, so I lost probably about a second, maybe two, just from that. I ducked a little bit there and I was like, lol, what am I doing? Um, I think I'm losing a little bit of time on this split, unfortunately. Um, probably around 5 seconds. Maybe up to about 10. Not ideal, but oh well. I just want to be like minus 25 coming out of Rio, because that would be sick. I would be so happy. Unfortunately, this room and the next room take quite a while to load, which is just irritating. So, even though I could have done it if loads were not a thing, unfortunately, they are. This room especially takes a long time to load for what it is, but it has a lot of background scenery in it that you can't get to, which is in some ways more annoying. Oh, I'm actually saving time, never mind, I'll shut up. I really thought I was going to lose time there. Cool. Okay. I want to save 22 seconds at least on this Mogna fight, and I can save 55. So... Unfortunately, I can't really just save, like... With Mogna, basically... When things go wrong, they go really badly wrong, so I'm either going to save, like, all of it, or basically none of it. Um, it depends what goes. So hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping for all of it. Um, his attack patterns can pretty much troll me. Um, I'm gonna hope for nice patterns. And get a good fight. Oh damn, I should stop abusing auto event. I think. Wait, no. Event, so it. Yeah, never mind. I'm a silly. I can keep abusing auto event all I want, I think. Wait, no, I can't. Never mind. I am. No, I'm not silly. No, that's fine. I thought it, like, wasted the entire E tank, but it doesn't. Because it goes from 3 and low to 97 and high, which means I only lost about 5. So it didn't waste the entire E tank, so I'm fine. Yeah, I should abuse it more. Okay. There we go, Magna. My last three Magna fights have been pretty bad. 
Wait, I'm silly, wait, I'm not silly, wait, I'm silly. Um... I thought I did something silly, but then it turned out I hadn't been silly, but I was thinking about it in a silly way. So I'm still silly, but my gameplay isn't silly, it's just my mind that's silly. Does that make any more sense? Probably not. Um... <laughs> it's fine, let's roll with it. Right, here we go, Mugna, please. Why am I so nervous about Mugna? It's fucking Mugna, it's easy peasy. Because he doesn't troll the shit out of me, it's easy peasy. That's bomb ass. It's a pretty big tabby out for a boss. Okay, we're good. I can always bait him into doing an attack for some reason. Like, if he jumps that way initially, his attack pattern's always the same, so he should be good for the rest of the fight now. Hello? Where am I? I'm over there. Why am I over there? Whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah. Don't worry, I knew someone was gonna make that joke. I'm glad it was you though. Not like Linky, because I'd have to say, oh, good joke, Linky, and then you'd feel happy, can't be. Okay, this is where I have to pay attention. Um, bad health drops, bad health drops, okay, we're fine. Ooh, I'm panicking a little bit. But we're good, we're good, we're good. We're well, yeah, very good. Wow, it destroyed that foot, okay, whatever, you're the... Okay, now I need to bait him to run away. Um, I need to give him this little bit of an eye on my health at least. Um, I need him to run across the room. There we go, now he's dead. Yay! Sub 109 Brio! Wait, what the hell, Flygon? You like disconnected from Mumble and then you started talking in my chat. <laughs> that ad quote. <laughs> it's too funny. Sick. Good split. Good split. I know, I haven't split yet, blah blah blah, there's like nothing else that can waste a minute unless I just sit there, so yeah, good split. Sub 109, Brio! Ah! Hey, Dimmer. We're back from all. Oh, baby. Just run. Cool run so far. Yeah, I know, but you and 1-Ups were in the same room and both connected at the same time, and cl you're clearly not talking to him. So, you know. I know, I was in the running room, but 1-Ups won. Is now so, fun fact, if I save another, like, 10, 20 seconds... Well, if I save another t 20 seconds in this run, um, I'll probably get a 2.30. If I save 2 minutes, 20-ish, I can get a 229. And honestly, the goal is the 229 at the moment because of that Brio. That was a good Brio. Admittedly, I did lose some time, but there's still a lot of time to save in this run. So I need to save about a minute 40. A minute 30 ish. Nice. A minute 30 to save, even past Gand Rider. There's around. Well, that's probably around half a minute to save easily enough in Alicia, but then, um, unfortunately I got perfect RNG on Berserker Lord, so I'll probably lose all the 30 seconds there. So, that will probably not make a difference. And then, whether or not we get a good Gendrider fight will determine some cool stuff about this run. I mean, I still don't have to depend on Gendrider for a good run, yet, but it's kind of funny that it works out that way. So, but if I get the good Gendrider, if I get 229 with a good Gendrider, a Brio that is good, and a decent Alicia, then I'm pretty much going to be happy and pretty much done with attempts for a while. It'll be like the 248 was. But I mean, I'm not done with this game now, I'm going to learn strats and learn 100% better and, you know, stuff. It's just going to mark the end of doing runs with this kind of route and this set of tricks. But like the 229 is gonna be it would be pretty sick. It's like it's unlikely, I'm not gonna get too hype over something that I'm probably not gonna get, but if I did that'd be pretty awesome. But yeah, like I said, it all pretty much comes down to Gandrido in terms of 
how low this is, but the 231 should be pretty easily done. There's a lot of time to save in my final bosses. So I don't even have to be that far. I, it could even be behind going into phase and still save time and still PD. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to just... I'm not gonna dwell on the time, I can save too much because then I'll panic when I don't save it and then freak out. I don't land badly. Open door, thank you. Yeah, because there isn't any development with Galaxy, there's nowhere for it to go except 2P strats and maybe, you know, some other stuff, but this game has a long way to go, you know. There are sequence breaks frowned for this game, they're just not used in runs. And honestly, I enjoy running this game a lot more than I enjoyed running Galaxy back then. I think it's just because it's um, a lot more freeform than Galaxy is, you know, it's a lot base it's a lot less based on level strats and stuff. I mean there's still bits of this run I dislike. But overall, as a run, I enjoy this more than Galaxy Any Percent. Well I just think the Galaxy Any Percents aren't as fun. There's the like bigger categories like the 120s and 242. But at the moment this is definitely my favourite speedrun. I mean, you know, times will probably change and I'll probably go back to Galaxy at some point and hate this game again, you know. But for now. This is my main focus. And I understand people want me to run Galaxy again, but I am gonna ask that people stop mentioning it every time that they say I'm gonna keep running this game because it is starting to get a bit annoying. Um, no, it's not really about the sequence breaks, it's more like, um, you know, although Galaxy was fun, I was really kind of craving a game that was more broken, like, as in, not just level-based game, you know, a kind of a game where it's more of an adventure, like a Zelda game or a Metro game and stuff, and I really wanted just to kind of run a game where, you know, even, there's a lot more kind of rooting and a lot more thoughtfulness into the game, so like, okay, I guess Galaxy has star bits, but in this game it's like, you mess up your missile drops or something. And then you're screwed for like, you know, you have to really be keeping an eye on your missiles all the time, health management's really important all the way through the run. There's a lot of interesting things in this run that Galaxy just doesn't have, and although I enjoy like playing Galaxy and the technique in Galaxy is very fun, it still has a high skill ceiling and stuff, and I wouldn't say my run is anywhere near perfect, but I just enjoy running this game a lot more, it's just more what I want to run at the moment. It's not really to do with brokenness, I mean. You know, the fact that this place, the play, the fact that this run has places to go in terms of sequence breaking, if anything, just makes me more interested about investigating it. I guess like Wind Waker, yeah. But like, you know, Wind Waker or a Zelda game or just, yeah, just generally something a bit more kind of adventure based as opposed to level based. I mean, you know, I run a lot of platformers. I only ran platforms for a long time, you know. My first run was a platformer. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much like all my runs were platformers until I picked up this game. And in fact, all my runs except this game still are platformers. Except for FFCC, but I wouldn't really call that a run I do yet. You know, I just wanted to branch out from platformers and I'm enjoying it a lot more. If 
but I mean, at the end of the day, it's just more of an enjoyment thing. It's like, I'm not gonna do runs of a game I don't necessarily enjoy running as much anymore, because there's other games out there I'd much rather put the time into. And I'd rather put the time into the games I enjoy putting time into than be like, oh, why am I putting time to Galaxy? This is so shit. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the first... Well, my first speedrun was Sonic CD. Which is a platformer. Then it was Super Meat Boy. Which is a platformer. And Portal, which is basically a platformer. Uh, okay, Portal's kind of a weird case, but whatever. And then it was, you know, Sunshine, platformer. Um, Galaxy, platformer. Galaxy 2, 64, platformers. Type Tasmanian Tiger, platformer, collectathon. Still a platformer. You know, and there are a lot of platformer speed games out there, and I'm not saying they're bad, I'm just saying I wanted a change, and this game is that change that I found, and I enjoy it a lot, and I want to stick with it. And also, the other thing is, like, kind of based on community stuff, I mean, like, I feel like the SMG community is kind of holding its own at the moment. Like, people are still joining in and running the game, you know, there's actually a bit of a presence behind the game at the moment, and you know, it's anything that's going somewhere. And that's nice to see for me. For someone who basically was one of the only main runners of the game for quite a while, but now I've kind of, I want to help nurture this game a bit, you know. This Galaxy's already at a very good point as a speed game, you know, it already has very good times, already has very optimal strats, you know, there's, there's obviously more places where it can go, but it's very much at a very well developed place, and I'd much rather help develop a game than try and build the time up just to compete with a very, very good time in a game I don't enjoy grinding. And that was the main thing that killed it for me, for Galaxy, is I enjoy playing, but I was starting to lose myself. Like, I was starting to lose loving the game when I was grinding runs. I just can't grind runs of Galaxy anymore. And, I mean, it was pretty hard to begin with, but then I just couldn't grind runs of Galaxy. It just, I just can't. It makes me hate the game. Whereas this game I could play, like, for ages. I can grind runs of this game. It makes me upset to lose time, like, because of grinding. Like, it's like, oh, there goes an hour of my life wall, or whatever. But it's not like, I hate the game, I just hate the time loss more than anything else. And that's really the main reason. Like, I just... I can't stand the grinding the game, to be honest. That's what really made me hate it. That's what really made me hate Galaxy 2 any percent. It's because it's incredibly reset heavy, and so having to reset over dying twice on a single level is just like... Ah, you know, it's just that kind of position that the game forces you to be in just because of what it is. And I didn't want to be mad at the game, so I stopped. Like, I mean, you know, I stopped running. Hello, I'm stuck. Did I just like soft? Um, there's a robot in the way. What the fuck? That little bitch just cost me a decent split. <laughs> wow. MVP for the robots right there. I thought I'd soft lock. I thought I'd like manage to soft lock the game, but no, I just stuck on a fucking robot. Jesus. <laughs> Defense drone plus. That's a decent fight, actually. I was standing in all the health drops and it didn't give me any of them. What the fuck, game? Um, okay. I saved time now. Cool. Whatever, don't question it. Just roll with it. Lol, rolling, because more full. Shit, okay, yeah. I'm glad we had this chat. Moving on. Nice health drops. Actually, in an obtainable place. Oh damn! Oh, oh, wrecked, wrecked. 
Whoa, flying on. Whoa, that's that's harsh, man. Also, yes, hey, uninvited. That's a great way to enter a stream, by the way. Thank you for <laughs> giving me something to be loud about. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Don't worry, Luigi's a separate category, it's fine. Capital B. You're not taking this very well, Flygon. Oh, there's the keeper. That was weird. Like, the timestamps say those messages are 11 seconds apart, and yet they all appeared at the same time. I'm my ISC client, so GG. Either it froze for a second, or Twitch is just having weird kind of issues. Well, I admit to be quitter. <laughs> Oh dang, the shots. <laughs> oh man. This is like me and Ping all over again. Except we used the same character. Although our difference was l language as opposed to anything else, I guess. For your time with Waluigi. Lel. I will win. I don't. Oh, it's I will win. I will win. Yeah, it's like bad kind of Eastern European slash Count Dracula accent, Transylvania or whatever. You want to call it. This was a really bad. Tournament. Even though I said it, I didn't get it the first time, so don't worry. That was kind of obscure. It was the V isn't very good. I don't know. It's kind of hard. I don't know why, but I really like this music. It's pretty cool. So fun fact, between Mogna and uh, Screw Attack, there was only actually 23 seconds for me to save. So if I end up saving time overall, it's pretty impressive, I am. Oh, it's actually a really nice split as well, I think. Decent at least. Yeah, this is good, I'm saving some time in here, I think. Maybe. I don't know. The cutscene's taking a while. Oh, that was almost the gold. Uh, I don't know if momentum carries in the cutscene. No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. What a terrible dream we were having. That door never normally loads instantly, so I was a little bit confused as to what to do then. <laughs> you 
you got boost now. Ship boost is so OP. Alert. Unknown entity approaching. Commencing hull lockdown. Nox minus five. Wait, isn't he using Luigi though? So he's only really minus one, Kappa B. Christmas minus three. What's Chrism doing? Everybody's having good runs today, apparently. It's cool though. <laughs> Just like activate ultimate dick node and be like, yeah, but not turning chrism on a water up a face lol lol. Yeah, anyway, I'll shut up. 650 splits. Okay, yeah, but he's um, doing a run as Luigi run. Um, I'm pretty sure in Hash Galaxy, Streambot said his title was as Luigi. SMG1120. Okay, fair enough. Hey man, the water face is strong, Kappa B. Yeah, I only need another like 15-20 seconds and I'll be on 230 base. Which is possible to obtain in East of Easter. Oh, I need to do this. And do this. Do this. Do this. Turn around. Take the health drop. Take the other health drop if he gives me one. No. Cool guy. Oh, okay, we have four retakes, sir. It's recording 629. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but. Uh. World record pays Craig as a yay. <laughs> Lol. It's funny, man. Don't worry, I'm like not really being serious any either. Like, mainly because I have no opinion of this run until I finish it, but okay. Game. Well, I'd say that um, most people who run know that Nigoro's got a 629, and so it's like, it's kind of just accepted that it's just a world record about video. I mean, I know it kind of sucks from a viewer's point, but from the runner's perspective, it's not like any of us don't know about it. But I do understand what you mean, it does pretty suck. Um, cool game. Very cool game. So yeah, that damage when he's spinning, um, if I want to attack him when he's spinning, I get one frame of vulnerability. So I'm surprised I did any damage. What? 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 No! What? No! No! What? What? Cool game. Cool game. Cool game. Cool game. That was really... That's made my tongue really itchy now. <laughs> that noise. But like, what the fuck? Why? Why? What? Why? No understand. No entiendo.
Fuck you, game. I don't need to get rid of it, I'll get rid of it later. No wasted light, 10 seconds, I guess. Unfortunately, I'm going up against a good split, so... Probably is a little bit tighter. Status update. Auto repair functions. Mm -hmm. Shut up. <laughs> and go. Ship status update. Auto repair functions complete. Ship is ready for use. I didn't think I got it. I did. That's fine. So yeah, sometimes the door lose instantly, sometimes it doesn't. Don't know what causes it. That's one of the few things that I need to find out. It might just be that I'm standing in a loading trigger for like a second or something based on the cycle of the platform. Or it could just be to do with when the cutscene plays because while well, that text plays across the screen, because that can sometimes change when everyone loads for some silly, bizarre reason. Because this game is really cool, but yeah, losing a couple of seconds here though, like I thought. Not too much though. It does have five. Sub 5 used to be with the dream for that split, and then it became really simple. No sound. Music isn't playing. It's a bit creepy. Happens every now and again though, so it's not really much of an issue. It's just funny when it does. Sometimes it's a lot easier to notice it than others. 
That makes this area seem really desolate. It's interesting how much music adds to a game. See, now it's a little bit of background sound again. But still. Okay. Why am I mashing it in? It doesn't do anything for the load. Oh, we can't see. It's habits, I guess. Racing against the door, would it shut before I get there? Yes or no? Nice. And yeah, Late Doc has a 643 or something and it's recorded, that's a good point, I forgot about that. Sorry, I only just noticed that you mentioned Late Doc, I was trying to think of the other guy's name. If you had a good run for a while, because I was just thinking about the conversation in my head again. Yeah, sorry if anyone had lost interest in that conversation, but just in case anyone was still thinking about it, Late Doc does have a very good time that's recorded, like 640 something. And it's a Mario time, which is pretty decent. Like, I'm not saying it would be less distant if it was a Mario time, but it's more impressive because the extra 4 minutes and it was really bad and I should have hyperboled that or at least tried to shoot it and get in there. Wait, I actually got sub 4, damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to lose a little bit of time on this split probably. A couple of seconds I think. So yeah, if I come out of Alicia or a, um, a minute ahead or more, I'll be happy. Or around a minute ahead. I mean, basically, just again, not lose time in Alicia, which is the goal like every run. So that's like minus 50 ish. Pretty happy with that. I think at the springboard again. I, it's a really weird. I don't know what it is about that room, but it is not conducive to springboarding. Think about it. Weird. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> Just kind of do some random boost and get into the cutscene anyway. Get up there. Oh, 
So on the next split, which is ship grapple, I can save around 30 seconds. The reason I can save that time is because in my run I was an idiot and blew up a box. And that's literally what it is. I blew up a box and that cost me 30 seconds. It's a very specific box that I kind of had to stand on because I couldn't. I had to go unload the room and reload it, which wasted a lot of time. Okay, that's not bad. Not even sub 4. <laughs> the sub 4 is like the sign of a pretty perfect split though. It's kind of funny how that works out. A lot of my splits are quite like that. Like they have, like sub 4 ship grapples are good ship grapple split, yeah. Like you know, there's usually, they're usually pretty close to like set certain amounts of minutes or whatever. See so yeah, hopefully we don't blow up a box. That would be cool. Sack on worth of boosting anyway, so it probably only saves about 25 a second over walking it or whatever. Oh, it's when you're boosting you can't spring walk. That explains a lot. I can just not boost as much. Instant load, nice. Getting instant load there is really strange, it's very inconsistent. This guy's gonna troll me, or trying to anyway. Why are you dead? Okay. Here we go. I didn't blow up my box, I don't think. That didn't good. One run I did have a pirate kamikaze into the box though, and that was kind of annoying. Ha! I'm off too late. I'm off too late again, really. What's happening? Are you serious? I'm not getting the angle right or something. Oh, fuck. I don't understand. What's going on? Hello? Game. Why the fuck are you doing this? There we go. That was silly. I lost. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh fuck this game. That was terrible man. Absolutely terrible. Probably not even saving time if at all. Like yeah, I'm probably not even saving time. If I am, I'm saving less than 10 seconds for sure. That was absolute ass. If I get anything less than a 4.15 on this split, I'll be incredibly fucking surprised. really annoying because I basically have to depend on uh, Berserk and RNG now to not lose time in BCO which is like eh. That's like basically 30 seconds down the drain bye bye. Because on an average Berserk Lord fight I'll lose 30 seconds from my best split and I could have saved 30 seconds here so I could have drawn equal but I messed up I could say. And that's annoying. to earn. <sighs> a little bit mad now, sorry guys. Stop setting myself like this up. Really, really dumb mistake to make. Yeah, I'm actually losing time on the split, which is ridiculous. It's a pretty pay, I guess. That's 
upset me a bit. Um, cool. Beans. Ouch. That's... That hurts. That time loss hurts. <laughs> Goddamn. Okay, fine. Um... So, I'll probably lose up to about 40 seconds on this split. Um, the chance is very high that we'll lose that time. Oh wow, yeah, and I can just bonk there, thanks game. Mm. I run. It's forsaken me. Open the door. Please, thank you. Screw it out, it was in trigger. Triggered really late, but I'd been a couple of frames later, I probably would have bumped and fallen down. And that would have been annoying. Also good. Bad pattern. This is a very bad pattern. Come on, man. Come on. Nice. Okay, that makes up for it. Um, this is a four round. So if we get good attack luck on the next round, we shouldn't lose too much time. Probably around 20 seconds at most. Uh, maybe even only like 15 or so. I'm not sure. I oh, know. I'm gonna lose. I'm definitely losing quite a bit of time actually. Um, he's being pretty bad with the attack patterns. Yeah, it's not too much time. Um, it's probably around 20 seconds to 25 seconds, I think. It's gonna be about 25, yeah. Okay, that's basically what I thought. That's not too bad. It's gonna be a lot worse. Okay, cool. Moving on. Gotta keep moving forward, just not focus on time losses. At the end of the day, this is still technically water record pace. I mean, I only have to be like minus 20 or so to get water record. Um, minus minute 20 would be nice, minus 220 would be even nicer, but minus 20 is what it needs to be. And even on these splits, it only needs to be about minus 15 actually, because I have an extra pause in these splits. What is this room? Oh. I was like, wait, I'm sure I don't need a boost here, but I can remember what the room was. I like, just draw a blank. It's a health drop. Nope. Yeah, about now. I could have gone then, actually. 
Should have gone that pass a bit close. Open the door, please. See? Thank you. That took a long time. Shouldn't take that long to open the door. Wait a minute. That's spring boost today, it's not good. We really need to get a spring boost in this next section. You better get in the hole, okay. Where are you going? Oh, this is decent actually. Nice. I thought what was this, but it's pretty good. Might be a gold, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Cool. Okay. So far so good. Uh, how many missiles do I have? 15. Good. That's a nice missile luck as well. So, we're pretty much set for drops. Um, I will still get a couple. Oh, maybe. No, no. Never mind. We're now bad for drops. Uh, 15 is good. 10 is bad. It's pretty tight in this section. I also didn't go over that door. GG. <sighs> okay. Um, any scraps and missile drops. I can still save a couple of Save the couple of seconds on this split probably because my movements be pretty good. Soon. But I don't know. Open the door, please. Go away, space pirate. Thank you. Stop shooting me in the butt. This room for the furthest uh, nine. I'm gonna have 20, so I need to get one more missile drop. But there's uh, these two places I can get easy missile drops. Although, I'm gonna do that. That didn't gonna happen. Hey, boy. How's it going, man? I'm doing pretty good. This run's going pretty well. I'm pretty happy. And I, it's my birthday in 10 minutes. What is that? And I just got trolled by this game, so, you know, fuck everything. Um, 
Wow. Uh, that's just lost me. That's I'm not ahead anymore, I don't think, now, because of that. Uh, especially if I can't get back up there. Full game, please. Okay, wow. That's really bad. <laughs> um, yeah. I ripped my time. That's really annoying. I just lost all that time that I had in Alicia. Damn. Okay, that's fine now. Yeah, I was gonna say it's been a while, but I wasn't sure because I don't always notice when people join. <sighs> but yeah. Save my birthday. <laughs> Fair enough. This was gonna be a sub 210 Elysia. Unfortunately, I just lost that chance. Rip. That would have been cooler. Um, but yeah, I can still. Water record off this. Pretty easily. It's just a pain to, you know, be like over a minute ahead and then lose all the time and then, you know. Whatever. I always have flaws in my runs, I can't keep a run going. Pretty bad run. I mean, my goal is just to get um, 229 either before, during, or soon after ESO. So, we're doing pretty good. Because this run's most likely going to be a 231, considering all I have to do is be 20 seconds ahead at the end of the game, and there is plenty of places I can save over 20 seconds in this run. As shown on the top of the screen. Um, we've gone past ship grapple, so there's only really Gendrider and a 313 left, but there are some other places that aren't at this where I can save some time. But yeah. I probably need a missile drop from this next room as well. Um, ESA is European Space Assembly. It's like a GDQ or SGDQ, but it's in Europe. It's kind of like the big European speedrunning marathon. Yeah. And I'm running this game any percent, Type Tasmania Tiger any percent, and I'm part of the four man co op team for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, which is a very cool game. Um, it's being held in Hofte in Sweden, which is north of Stockholm and east and slightly south of. No, east and west and slightly south of Stockholm and kind of. North northwest of Gothenburg. It's kind of just like in the middle of Sweden. Seeker missiles, please stop trolling. Wow! Seeker missiles, please! What are you doing? Why did you hate me today? Bubble thump, bubble thump. That could have been a really good split, but instead the game was like, no, you're gonna lose more time. Seeker missiles are having issues with me today, and I'm having issues with them. Excellent works. We're having. Some personal issues, we need to work some stuff out, can we? Apparently, I fended Seeker missiles in some way today. Because they hate me. At least I'm, I'm still gonna have motivation to do runs after this because I was saying earlier that if I can maintain this minute head and then save time later on. I can be like, yo, I'm pretty much done with this category, and time to learn some new tricks and stuff. But I mean, now at least I'm going to have motivation to do runs next week, because this run is going to be bad. But well, it's still going to be a decent run, I mean, you know, whatever. But there's a lot of time to save in this run. Like, a lot of time. Like, oh my god. The last, like, four splits have been pretty bad. I mean, missile trolled in bomb component 2, I mean, that hasn't happened in, like, two months. And that's such a dick thing to happen, but whatever. Whatever, whatever, focus on the run. It's still going, there's still over an hour left, you can still save it. This must be done. This is a dangerous thing. 
Initiating sidebound migration. Cutscenes get more text. We will move the do you understand? After shutting, we regret this. Go. Blech. I think I'll be using that mortis, not too bad. I'll take that missile drop, please. Okay, now I won't play. Whatever. Interestingly enough, you can't actually destroy your spaceship until it comes over here. So it's a bit of a pain. No. Now it can die. Watch, I wasted the majority of any tank and a half. I'm trying to get it a little bit earlier than I could, so. I have bad kind of health for the moment. Decent drops though. Okay. Uh, that should be good though. Those are drops. Um, they snipe out this ship. Snipe out the other ship. Got it. Go back over here. Nope, next one. Take out this guy so he's turned around. Oops. Aiming here is surprisingly hard. And then just wait for a bit. The last ship comes around. Comes around. I can't remember where it stops, it's over here. It's my birthday. It's not my birthday yet, according to my clock. <laughs> but yes, happy birthday, me. My present, I get to shoot space pirates. Hooray! Let's see if I can technically get myself a water on my birthday, Kappa B. Hey, it's my birthday. I'm now 20. Cool beans. I feel old. <laughs> I feel so old. <laughs> Lol. Oh, I don't have beefing strides. <laughs> For the last couple of runs, I've ended up here with um, less than an E tank. So, I get beefing strides. Opening repair. Birthday war. Let's get a birthday war. So that would be cool. Kirby's present to me is my, on my birthday is having a bad run so I can beat it. Um, holding too hard, please. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. If this run crashes and burns, then I'm not gonna feel so great. <laughs> What the fuck? Hello. Why? Fuck you too, Baldi. Okay, at least that last one was good. God damn it, that was terrible. Yeah, this is really bad. I'm gonna lose time here. For sure. Probably about mm, seven seconds, I think. I think it's gonna be somewhere around there. But we're almost on to Pirate Home World, and there's a lot of time to save in Pirate Home World. I got lost. And not just in Pirate Home World, but I'm in Phase as well, which is the last area. Yo, go, go. Oh, never mind, I'm actually saving time here. I'll shut up. Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about. Or at least I am cutscene of it. Thank you. 
<laughs> the cutscene ever flays out. Oh, okay, that was a lot closer than I thought it was, never mind. Mold. Okay, so... We lost pretty much all the time we saved the Lucia. Sad face. Alright, see ya, B-Boy. Thanks, man. Have fun with whatever you're doing as well. <laughs> Very nondescript script. Unfortunately, I don't know anything. But yeah, have fun with whatever you're doing in your life and stuff. MP man, see ya. That was like the weirdest wave because I had an unchuck in my hand. See ya. There we go. <laughs> okay, there's about an hour ten left, 10 left on this run. So, I'm actually not even finishing that late relative to the time I've been going to sleep recently. So, whatever. Hey PD, how's it going? Okay, Seekers please. I pray to all God I forgive you for everything you've ever done to me, just please don't fuck up now. Good start. Come on, man. I love you. Please, you guys. I love you. Honest. Don't fuck me up. Yes! Okay. Seeker final boss. Final Seeker boss has been defeated. Well, two more Seeker missile doors or whatever in the game, but they're pussies. Whew. Okay. Mikey Mios. So apparently this guy's a boss. Um, for anyone who hasn't seen it, he gets pretty... Fucking wrecked. He's basically trivial. He can't do shit, and he's just really fun. AKA hyper mode is OP, um, and this is a boss. Bye Helios, you're dead. Ooh, sub for Helios kill, that's nice. One of us is like, what's a nice guy like you doing in a scrub stream like this, Captain B? Well, actually saving time on Helios. Cool beans. Okay, plus six here is like nothing. So, there is about three minutes and 50 seconds I can save from now until the end of the run, which is in an hour ten. There is so many bad things <laughs> in the last hour of my run, it's ridiculous. So the first couple of splits, maybe a little bit of time I can save. Come on, I'm mashing, please. Thank you.
to go. So these first couple of splits, I'm just going to be trying to minimize any time losses that occur, if at all. Um, just kind of focus on playing well for a little bit. And then about 11 minutes time, well, 9 minutes time now, we have the bitch, or Gendrider, or, you know, damn Drider, or god fucking damn it bitch, why won't you stop fucking moving and let me kill you? Um, and then we'll see how that goes. Wow, cool game. We'll see how it goes, and then there's some time to save in a couple of layers blitz here um, on Pirate Homeworld. I'm including the boss of Pirate Homeworld. So we'll see how that goes. And then once we get off Pirate Homeworld, we only have the Valhalla, where I normally never save all this time, and it'll probably stay that way. Um, and then we have Phase, in which I can save pretty much over a minute if things go well enough. However, some of that's not likely. Some of that is kind of likely, some of it's a bit RNG based, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, as long as I stay um, to pace up until phase and don't fuck up a certain fight that I fucked up in my last run, we should be fine. And this should be a whole round. Alright. Uh, is this a decent extra advisor split? No, it's not. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna lose about, I think, six seconds here? That's my guess, it's six seconds. I feel like I'm gonna be horribly wrong. Because every other guess I've made is already horribly wrong, but you know, it's worth a try, I guess. Anything else? So I claimed six. I was wrong. It was seven. Wow. <laughs> It's pretty bad. Uh... That was a really nasty pattern. I couldn't see anything there. Please get a good shot. Please get a good shot. No, I missed. Way too slow. You can save like 3 seconds by knocking down that first um, phase on thing instead of waiting for the second one to come around. It's a pretty precise shot though, unfortunately. It's pretty tricky. That's a good room. X-ray locks today. It doesn't really matter because a bad X-ray lock only loses me like maybe a second or two over a good one, but it's enough to just make me annoyed, I guess. <laughs>
Get in there? Yeah, okay. So, in that room, you either have to go really fast and beat the robot to the tube, or you have to wait for the robot to disappear. Because if you hit the robot, um, he starts, like, making noises. And being all like, yo, there's intruders. Nothing actually triggers in the room because you haven't walked through the cutscene trigger. So, he just sits there and works at you. Unfortunately, he also is solid and doesn't move until you unload the room. And I actually lost a run there because one time I went into that tube while the robot was in it thinking I could just hyperboard it or like bomb it or something. No, it doesn't take damage from anything. In fact, I worked out the other day it takes damage from screw attack only, which is kind of useless if it's in a tube the size of a morph ball. Because you can't um, screw attack into morph ball tubes in this game. It's something they fixed from Prime 2. <laughs> Um, welding please, welding please. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh. 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 And... Uh. Right here, let's see if I get it. Ah, uh, no. In theory, um, hey Kadoom, how's it going? In theory, if you spring ball up there and get a perfect boost down at the bottom of the tunnel, you can actually do it without having to come all the way back. It's a small little time saver, but, you know, small little time savers are nice. Oh, get in there. You're right just in time for my favourite boss, Kadoom. First blue screen? Dang, that really sucks, man. What happened? Were you doing anything strange or did it just. was your computer just like. Nope. Oh, where is he? There. Huh. That hyper mode failure is really strange. Like, you just randomly lose hyper mode in, in this room sometimes. I always thought it was a bomb you threw, but clearly it's not because you didn't throw a bomb. Either that or he did and it only triggers during the cutscene or some bullshit. I don't know. Lots of weird things in this game. That should be good enough. Yep, cool. Dang man, that sucks. I mean, I'll to check you just didn't install, um, it might just be an update or something, or an install that's gone slightly dodgy. I mean, if you, you could go back through Windows of NVR and kind of try and work out what went wrong, and see if it's a software related thing or whatever. I'm um, saving maybe a couple of seconds on this split, I think. Not sure. Time save long. That was a bit of a nice split as well, so I pretty much just drew even with my split. Oh well. Oh, no cough drop, what the fuck? Screw you. Whatever, man. Okay. Here we go. Oh, baby! Oh! 
Um. Um. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. 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 Dude, dude. <laughs> dude, dude. I just wanna. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, that wasn't even the quick kill on the final phase. You can. In theory, you could save about 10 seconds off of that. 3 seconds from the second phase being a bad screw attack aim, but the third phase, um, you can actually get her as she's running away from you. But holy shit, that second screw attack, I was just like, Yo, you know what, she's probably going this way. Just give her a screw Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a run. We have a run, guys. We're past like the last major run killer. Minus is 125. Like... <laughs> There's a couple of things that can still go wrong, but holy shit, Gandrider gave me the best birthday present I could ever hope for, which is a perfect play. Gandrider basically just gave me the 320 or less, 230 or less. I mean, okay, I can still lose time from here until the end of the run, but in a lot of places, I can still save time as well, so this run is definitely on a good pace right now. I need to go to Twitter. Birthday were. <laughs> my hand, I've got like pins and needles in my hand, and like my leg is shaking. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's my birthday to do today. I am now 20. I need to drink something, but I haven't got enough time to... It's always the OJC birthday. I haven't got enough time to drink my drink before I land on Alicia. God damn it, Alicia. Yo, that was a really nice spring ball. I'm glad we had this chat, Morphle. Um, also I just froze my web browser. So if everything just crashes out on my computer, blame the hype. <laughs> Thanks, man. But yes, I am 20 as of 21 minutes ago. But yeah, GG my summer best. Um, you know, that's pretty insane. Oh, that was dumb, I shouldn't have morphed there. I should have just gone straight for this. Come on. Ah, shut up, Samus. You're such a bitch. Can't for me. Man, that like, try to fight was so sexy, holy shit man. I'm doing a Kirby, I have like a bad rest of run and then I pull out all the amazing shit in Pirate Home World. <laughs> the thing is, um, this was a sub 109 Brio as well. So, this run has basically got a bad Alicia, and a bad Alicia, and a bad Alicia. And that's it, and I shouldn't have morphed there! God wow, nice it's not morphed, that saved me a little bit. It's not even all of Alicia, it's like East Alicia, which is ass. I got trolled by like missile drops and stuff, so I lost a lot of time. And Seekers trolled me. Seekers fucking hated me, man. Okay. But yeah. Anyway. Focus on the run. Don't throw the run. Don't throw the run. Ah, uh, losing the wood. Whoa. Hello, spider ball, where are you at? That spider ball split is ridiculous though, so I'm always expecting to lose time there. Save a little bit of time in Enter Mines. Um, my Enter Mines split is pretty damn good. It's a very good gold. Um, 609 is decent. I took the fight strats a little bit safely because I had bad health going into um, the main portion of Hazard's Shield Skip. So, yeah. Uh, I let go of Zed game. But you know, fuck you too. That's cool. So that just lost me like 15 seconds, I guess. 
Um, yeah, that's losing me even more time because that fire wasn't even touching me, but you know. Oh wow! Um, come on, come on, don't choke, don't choke, don't choke, don't choke, please. <sighs> please, no chokes, please, 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 just finish the run. Just finish the run. I'm waiting this time. You can get me again. There we go. That's what that's meant to look like. Um, yeah. Okay, we're playing catch up again. This is gonna put me right on very, um, very, very high 230 pace after this split um, because I need a route minus 110, 115 for uh, 230. Basic Chocorino. I'm trying, man. That was just dumb, though. That was just dumb shit. It's fine. There's still time. Unfortunately, Enter Mines was one of the splits I had on my dex document. Is time I can pretty much always save. Uh, oops. <laughs> so I'm gonna lose time on this split for sure. Dude, that boost was sexy. Woo, I almost couldn't unmorph then. That would have been really, really bad. Whew. Just calm. Just play the game. But yeah, Enter Mines has a little bit of time to save, but then we're basically just riding up against good splits until the end of Pilot Homeworld. Um, Omega Ridley is actually really bad in my PV, um, so I can save some time there. Uh, that might not be... Ugh, okay, I thought I was maybe too far in the wrong direction then. Well, I was a little bit worried, but we're good. Yeah, there's a little bit of time to save on Omega Ridley, but... Um, Whatever. Omega Ridley is pretty random anyway, so it's not time I can necessarily save. A little bit of time to save on phase, but again, that's down to RNG. Um, Aurora Unit 3 on 3 head, which is the very, very final boss. I can save about 16 seconds due to RNG. And then, on the main Aurora Unit, I can save about 40 seconds due to not being a complete idiot. So, that would be cool. But there's definitely still time to save in this run, and there's definitely a nice pace. Like, you know, staying even with this run to the end of the game would be really nice because this is a nice run and a nice pace, but I want more. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm going to lose a lot of time on the split, which I already know, so... Oh. Um, this will probably be around a 6.20, 6.30. Split. Hey, Wash. How's it going, man? Yeah, man, cool, yeah. Because speed running. Hey, JRP. Kappa. I'm calling you out for being awake, JRP. You should be asleep. And that. I'm on world record pace by over a minute. Um, so this is 230 pace, in fact. Pretty high 230, but it's 230. So if I save 20 seconds, um, I get a 231. If I save a minute 20, I get a 230. If I save 2 minutes... Oh no! Hey, Elminster. Thanks, man. I just got phoned by an elevator. Dude, why does this elevator hate me? This split is gonna lose so much time, oh my god. I am losing a lot of time here. Yeah, I, I, I guess you probably only just woke up. <laughs> If you move me now, if you're going to do it, no, don't do it. Okay, fine. Cool. This is badish health. Okay. Um, mm, getting me a drop? No. Okay, fine. Copy too. Um, I'm gonna get some drops from the side before we start this, and hope to fuck I don't die here by being an idiot. Because if that happens, I'm going to cry. Like, yeah. I actually want to stay um, hyper mode here because it reduces the amount of damage I take in this cutscene, which is potentially quite high. Um, I want those health drops. Okay. 
Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. It's always a bit tense, especially when I want a good pace run. This room scares me. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So yeah, um, this is around a 6.30 split, so I'm losing about 20 seconds here. Right. Oh, it's even more, it's like the 640. Damn. Okay, fine. Whatever. It's fine. I knew I lost a lot of time because those power that power works was ass. That wasn't a great fight for into mine, so yeah. Damn. That's quite a lot of time lost. I'm not particularly happy about that, but at least we're still on a very nice pace. Oh man. God damn. Okay, it's fine. I know if you've been Federation Assault and Demolition Sequence, we'll have probably up to around 10 seconds to save on them each, which isn't much, but it is something. Um, there's a possibility for a gold split on Federation Sequence, because my Federation Sequence is pretty bad. And Nova Beam's pretty good, actually. I probably went gold there. Demolition Sequence has... No, Demolition Sequence I played very well, and I was good RNG, so there's no chance for gold there. Hey. Stop hiding. Hey, Rice Boss. Um, for that to happen, I'd have to PV by less than 20 seconds. Just so you know. It could even be slightly less than that and still be 231. Tie PV. I'd be. Well, yeah, it would be tied in game time, but also real time, so. Like, yeah, I don't know. Tying the real time is kind of more what I'm comparing against because obviously splits are not in game time. Oh, uh, this is really bad. Good luck there. Okay. Did open the door already though, so that's convenient. Okay, this room can be kind of sketchy. Hopefully, these guys don't aggro me too much. Mm. Go, 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 go. Okay. The guy on the other side aggroed me, which is usually what happens. Oops. One more. Get up, get up. Okay. Okay, this is kind of bad. They are being pretty aggro today. Go, go, go. Please, no. Okay, we're fine. They can knock you off that spider track, and once they have you down, it's very hard to hide from them or recover. So I really don't want to get stuck there with those guys. Last kind of real scary room in the game. Um, just because of Acid Rain. And we don't have Hazard Shield, because we skipped it, because it's slow. Uh, grab that. Well, I'm in comparing against my own RTA. Like, I don't have splits in terms of in-game time, because that would, that, would, that would be really cool. Um, I don't know how you'd measure that, necessarily. Ugh, go away. Okay. Hey Shane, uh, pretty decent. Um, probably gonna ignore chat for a few minutes, just so I don't mess up Nova Beam. Wait. Oh, uh, sorry guys. But I don't want to start making mistakes. Yeah, they were on Insta, but um, those ones start going to hyper mode about two seconds after you enter the room, and then they stay in hyper mode for the entirety of the time you're in the room. And if they start hitting you when you're on the spider track on the ceiling, they can knock you down into the acid rain. Um, so you have to unmorph and escape. Although the time it takes to unmorph and escape isn't usually enough time for its mate to start attacking you. And I've died there a couple of times, and I don't want that to happen again. So yeah, they are pretty dangerous. Okay, come on, get it. Get it. I'm trying to show something pretty cool here. Uh, not, nah, I can't get it. Okay. I'll try it every time, but that's a pretty cool thing you can do. Using the effect, um, just by abusing how visors change your momentum slightly when you're locked on. I'll take all these two, I guess. I don't know, you didn't give me a breath. That's not very nice. Okay. Uh, there. Let's try that. Yeah, we on there. 
Sweet. Wow, this is taking a while. Hello. Thank you. Um, it's just standard in the Metroid community and specifically in the Prime community to use in-game time. Um, it's partly because there is quite a lot of loading in this run and there are a few strats which you can do which waste real time but have a lower in-game time and some stuff like that. And so if people are using slightly different routes which have more or less loading screens you can't compare real times directly necessarily because of loading, but you can compare in-game times directly always. Playing hide and seek with this guy. Ugh, come on. You. And you. Uh, okay. And you're over there, so you're fine. Uh, unfortunately, in this sequence, um, I pretty much don't lose time from accidentally killing the pirates, but there are a few times I've had where the kill pirates have killed themselves. And when that happens, I'm just like, oh, uh, well, what do I do now? And this is just fun. Oh, I didn't get the full sequence at all. Wait, what? Is this already happening? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> cool split. I honestly don't understand how that was that good, to be quite honest, and yet, times don't lie. So that's cool. I saved back pretty much all the time I lost. Because I can now think of it as losing 9 seconds in those two splits, which is something I'm perfectly happy with. Um. I could do have another heat tank of health by the time I get to a Federation's um, assault. There's potentially a health drop in around the corner here that I can get. Dude, Nova is great, I love Nova being. Nova being so good. Ah, I missed though. You can actually, like, kind of quick shot that thing from just around the corner. I've got it a couple of times, but it's not something that's consistent, unfortunately. Get up! Also, something I noticed um, a couple of runs ago, which I didn't notice before, <coughs> is the presence of a phaseite front plate on the correct beast in Brio Thorn. So now, what I really want to do is, if at any point I start messing around with low percent stuff, I'll just fork a save, go back to Brio, land on Brio Thorn, and like see if you can mess up Korak with X Ray and Nova Beam. Like, just see if there's a weak point, like just in the middle of his face that you can just attack. So it'd be pretty funny. Okay. On to Federation as well. Um, I can see your message as well. You said that twice. You said bye. Bye, guys. Oh, I didn't say bye. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to my game when you said bye. But I did see you say goodbye. I apologize for not saying goodbye to you earlier when you said it. Load, please. Please? Thank you. That's weird. That doesn't normally take that long to load. So yeah, PD, load times can be inconsistent. Um, the all load times are always the same, which is the ones that um, in-game time isn't affected by, but cutscenes can load kind of screwily. Um, for example, in Omega Ridley, which is uh, the boss at the end of this level, when you defeat him, you grab an item, like you do with like, every boss in a Metro game, and after you, defeat, after you grab the item, there is pretty much a random chance that you'll just get a 20 long second loading, well like a 25 second long loading screen, and we don't know what causes it, we don't know how to avoid it, it's just there, and really annoying, and mm, that was kind of obnoxious, okay. This is pretty bad health, I could do have a drop, but I'm not going to get one unfortunately, well I might get a 50 from the pirate who comes up here in a sec, so it should be fine. Definitely do have a health drop right now. How did Gandrida go? Um, I golded by like 20 seconds and got basically the perfect kill. So Gandrida went pretty fucking amazingly. What happened at Nova? I saved time. Eh. <laughs> I saved time, you tell me. I don't know how I saved time, man. I saved time. I need a red drop, are you serious? Whatever, screw you game. The game hates me. Okay. Um, don't forget. One, two, come on, three. That was good. Gandrida was craigasm. I'm highlighting that Gandrida and like posting it everywhere. Oh, PD, you should do it, it's cool. 
Speedrunning this game is awesome. Um. Wow, thanks game. I just don't want to do that. Okay. That's lost me quite a bit of time, unfortunately. Because that fire was in the way. What a troll. Yeah, Kirby's got a 100% run up for verification at the moment. He got a 319, I think, which is pretty based. Okay, I'm surprised he only lost a second there, considering I screw attacked and fell all the way down. So that probably would have been a really nice split if I hadn't done that, unfortunately. So let's go demolition sequence. 100% is a lot longer. The game doesn't agree. Nah, there's a lot of kind of silly things in this game, but I enjoy it. And my sound is kind of messed up what it was. Outstanding okay. job. I've given the order. I'm headed down, man. Meet me as But I mean, barring any real trolls right now, this is pretty much confirmed order I hold. Um we're just waiting to see if what kind of number is on the end of the time, I guess. Whether it's a zero, a one, or even possibly a nine, although the nine is incredibly unlikely. As much as I'd love to dream about it. <sighs> Come on. Load. The issue is when I get a good run going, I become really impatient with load times, so it's kind of funny, because it's just kind of like, well, it's not going to load any faster because I have a good run or anything. It doesn't know. Well, it seems to know. The game seems to troll me a lot more when I have a good run going. But, you know, confirmation bias or whatever. Uh, blow you up. Yeah. We should be fine. So you meant to match A for Red Mold's Ains text, but it turns out you can skip it like you can a cutscene. Um, same with this Demolition Trooper guy, actually. It's kind of interesting. It's something I found out a few weeks ago. I was just kind of like, oh, that's cool. So you have to mash, you can mash A, but as soon as you get passed through the first one, um, you don't have to watch the rest. You can skip it like you can a cutscene, because it flows straight into a cutscene at the end of the text box. It's pretty convenient. Okay, Demolition Sequence. This is really fun and really chill, so... We get to kick back for a bit. I love this section, it's fun. Because this is basically hyper mode, like, so, you know, we know hyper mode is a few broken and abused in this game. Well, now we get to abuse it for seven minutes straight, basically. It's the best thing. Hey, Demory. Camera. Camera, please, don't, don't. I need to get up there. Okay. Oh, I fell down. Wow. Um, this is kind of bad. I'm gonna... Mmm! Wow! Um, game, just let me get up there. Um, wow! Hello? Hello? What the... Dude, they patched this SSJ during this run. I just lost like 20-30 seconds there. Unfortunately, um, this trick only saves about 15, so I just lost some time. Um, even over just trying it, which is annoying. Oh. As long as the commander doesn't troll me, I won't lose too much time here, though. Don't worry. That's only, like, um, 20 seconds total. Which... Is it a time... It's a time loss I'm not happy with, but it's not... Unsavable or... Terrible to happen, so... Whatever. Just annoyed. Yeah man, that's why it saves so much time, because you can just take them out immediately. Uh, I don't want to be hyper mode here, I need to deactivate before I corrupt. Okay. I don't want to use the entire tank now. I guess if I corrupted, I would have just carried it on through this section. That would have not been good for the auto-man. Uh, auto -man probably wouldn't have triggered right now actually, so we're fine. Okay, whatever. But yeah, it's the only real trick in this section to kind of speed it up. Unfortunately, I kind of messed it up a bit, so whatever. Kind of annoying. I also lost two guys because while I was messing around trying to climb up a ledge, um, the flying pirates took out a load of things. These flying pirates are like stupidly annoying because um, if you're trying to keep everyone alive, the, the flying pirates can just kamikaze into your guys, and it's like, what are you doing? Just no, that's not fair. Because <laughs> it's pretty much random when you kill one of it kamikazes or it blows up. 
at least it doesn't seem to be based on any kind of obvious amount of damage or anything. Just let me pass, please. Please, just fuck off. Thank you. That guy did not want to let me go. Ooh, nice drops. Okay, say hello to Berserk Lord again. It's time we get to fuck him up. Um, if I can actually do stuff, okay, he's dead. So yes, that was Berserk Lord, as in the boss that trolled us, not only at the start of the game, but also in the museum. Although he didn't actually troll me today, he was pretty cooperative. Okay, uh, this last fight, I wanna... Do that, and then do that. And then switch to X-Ray, charge and over, hit him in the face. So, um, I normally get to this point at about 4.30, so I've lost like 45 seconds, which <laughs> is a lot more than I thought I was going to, and that's actually really, really bad. So yeah, I did say if I didn't fuck up too much, um, to be fair. Yeah, it happened, so there you go. I just hope I don't get trolled by the commander and don't lose too much more time on top of this. Because that's really, really bad. I'm um, just for relevance, I'm normally... <sighs> normally activating the handle again at around 6.16. Um... Cool. Cool guy. No, he walked. Yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him, good. Okay. Um, that's pretty unlikely, Bros. Bryce, even, because I actually have a couple of extra pauses in this run that I didn't have in my, um, tied record. Okay, so yeah, we're losing about 30 seconds here. So it's not as bad as it could have been, because that commander fight went pretty well, but it's still not ideal in any way, really. Uh, slight command dash into the acid rain here. Oh my god, oh my god, get in the ship. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't too bad, actually. I'm pretty... I'm not too fussed about losing the time here. Yeah, I know you are, but, you know, constantly people saying like that is starting to get a little bit annoying. Yeah, my 232 is super low. Well, it's like... probably within 20 seconds. It's not... It's not any more than 30, and it's not any less than, like, 10. Okay, it's 23 seconds. There's a lot less time than I thought I was going to lose here, so either I'm bad at remembering when I do things, or that just went a lot better than I thought it was going to. Fun fact, you can actually cross this gap without needing screw attack, but it's pretty hard. Um, that was the last thing solved to get rid of screw attack in low percent before it was added back into low percent. <laughs> because it turns out using screw attack you can skip more things. Just a bit of trivia. Okay, Mega Ridley, please don't troll me. Please don't trouble. First phase, grapple. One, two, three, four. Four, four, four. Come on. Ridley, stay still. Missile. Yeah, got it. Okay, good. Ooh. So that's a uh, one that's a one round. Normally you're gonna use two rounds, but um if you do six and a missile, it does just enough damage to take him out in one round without triggering the cap in the second round. It's pretty close though, you have to be pretty fast. And he kind of trolled me with the way he jumped around. So I want to get good patterns here, these are okay patterns. Okay, that's a good pattern. He can sometimes just breathe fire and not give you any kind of warning, and so that wastes time because you can't damage him. I think it really is pretty fun, but um... What it's really hard on is actually just phase on management. It's not really that difficult of a fight on its own. You just kind of have to pay attention to what you're doing. Wow, I'm over this side of the room. Look, there's a door over there. I'm not on the other side over there somewhere. I'm going to try a couple of cool things in this fight. Uh, we'll see how they pan out. 
Uh, it depends kind of what attack patterns he does and where he starts them and where he finishes them. Um, this sequence is entirely random. Uh, I didn't get that. Um, if you kind of springboard in at the right time, he won't knock you back, and you can do some damage with this uh, hyper ball. Okay, good, good. Keep, stay. Ah, uh, bad. Okay, you can snipe him with a hyper missile there. I'm not going to try any more stuff because there isn't any more easy stuff to do, and wasting hyper mode is potentially a bad thing to do in this fight. I mean, for the most part, it's usually fine, but. I've been stuck here a couple of times with not enough hyper mode to do any damage to him and he won't drop any health when he's on his final form and you can't damage him in anything other than the hyper mode so you basically you get stuck until you die. So I really just want to kind of be careful not mess that up and die please, okay cool. No you can't open the door, you can't get out. The door is like locked. Um, Paris got out with the moon jump and it basically soft locks. Let's see what happens. Okay, we didn't get the loading screen so... That's time that's saved real time, but not really relevant towards in-game time, because in my PV run I got the loading screen there. Although this is a very... That was a very good Ridley fight, so I'll probably be very close to gold or gold split on this. I drank a bit too much Lucasade, and I feel a bit ill. Um, loading times are fun. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was a really nice Ridley. The first phase was good, the second phase was strong. Last phase was okay, didn't get any snipes, but whatever. Okay. So now we're out of the woods. Um, there is now only two real places where I can lose time. Um, one is on phase to the seedling, although my PB loses 28 seconds to it, so I'd say at the most I would lose another 10 seconds on that split. And the Aurora unit, um, there's two phases. The first phase I can save up to 40 seconds by not messing stuff up and being bad. The second phase I can save up to 16 seconds, but that's entirely RNG based, just dependent on what attacks he gives me. But yeah, this is a pretty good run. That Gandrider fight basically saved this run like holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. It was Ivahala! Spam. That's fun. Um, no, not really. I mean, it kind of does, but um, the backstory is that the pirates hijacked the Valhalla a couple of months ago, and so, and we also don't know what the Leviathan is. So it could just be that the Leviathan actually turns out to be some other Galactic Federation ship that. The space pirates destroyed years ago and they repurposed for this purpose of being a Leviathan. And then connecting with this other ship, they use the access codes from one to another or so. Like, there's a lot, it's like a plot hole, but it's not completely unexplainable. Um, dude, please. Dude, please, don't do this. Okay. Couple of seconds lost there. I mean, it, it makes a little sense. I mean, you could also argue that the pirates took it over and wanted a safe place to hide their codes or something. Like, there's a lot of ways you can justify it. I mean, none of them necessarily make direct sense, but I don't think it's entirely unexplainable. Um, you go a little bit faster than walking, but the main reason is I start a screw attack. Um, so I may as well just keep the screw attack going, because it's faster than letting the recovery animation play out for that. 
um, small distance. Overall, like, boost is faster, but screw attack is faster than walking for sure. Well, this, this area is meant to be, like, um, the point of the energy cell kind of fetch quest. I mean, you know, I've said this many times before, but I feel like Corruption was already originally intended to be a much longer game that had a lot more stuff in it, and they definitely had to cut stuff back. I mean, that's why you keep getting, like, hyper weapons right up until the very end point of the game. You know. <laughs> I mean, after you beat an Omega really, the end of the game is open and ready, because you have hyper grapple, and you can just go with that straight away. Like, this is the equivalent of the Artifact Temple or the Sky Temple in terms of going to pick up things. Okay, last cool trick, last really cool kind of trick of the run. Um, there's a couple of minor tricks in phase, but by doing this, reset your terminal 4 trigger so the game thinks you're up here. Yay. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite tricks. You just do a screw attack and suddenly up there. GG. Decent split. Uh, maybe it lose me a couple of seconds. Okay. Lose me a couple of seconds, but whatever. Kind of sloppy game that SSJ, so I'm not surprised that it was only four seconds lost. The data you just acquired appears to be a space pirate biotent it's gonna be kind of funny because after this PB, I have to say that Gundrider saved my run, the world record. And I'm like, <laughs> running against these splits is gonna be such a pain. It's just like, oh, I'm saving all this time in Alicia. Oh, Gundrider, whoops, rip. Like, I'm gonna really have to grind out Gundrider and, like, really be able to do that strat at least semi consistently, else I'm never gonna finish any run ever again. Or at least learn new things so that I don't need to depend on Gendrider anymore. Because depending on Gendrider is not a state I want to be in. At all. Um, straight ahead, slightly left. Um, basically perfect. Probably about 5 seconds off optimal. Um, no, this isn't 229, probably. <laughs> no, <laughs> this isn't. It's not happening. Not 229. But this could be 230. Open the door, please. Right about now. Thanks. <clears throat> um, you can't. <laughs> yeah, you can't skip Gendrider, unfortunately. Um, so to skip Gendrider, you then can't use Grapple Voltage and you can't use Hyper Grapple because you require can, um, you require Grapple Voltage to use Hyper Grapple. So say we could skip Hyper Grapple, so then we wouldn't do the damage to the sequence and we wouldn't do Gendrider, right? Because we don't need Grapple, um, Grapple Voltage. Well, we actually need Grapple Voltage in the place I just was to be able to get the command codes off the pirate ship. And in fact, the one place we haven't found out how to skip Hyper Grapple... Well, there's two Hyper Grapple blobs, right? Which basically stop us from skipping it at the moment. One's on Pirate Homeworld, and we're pretty close to finding a way to skipping it, we think. But the other one's on phase, and to skip that we'd have to find an out-of-bounds in the first room of phase, and we haven't found anything yet. I mean, it's likely it'd have to be combined with um, low percent phase, which basically means we'd have uh, more ball bombs in phase, and we'd have to do like a uh, SPSJA out-of-bounds or something, which would be pretty hard. But basically, unless we can find a way to skip Hyper Grapple, we can't skip Grapple Voyage, and even if we could, we still need to get the command codes to go to phase. So Grapple Voyage is never going to be skipped, so Gendroid is always going to be in any percent, unfortunately, unless we find a way to manipulate game flags to give us the pirate codes without ever going to the Valhalla, and then going straight to the command center and handing them in. Second floor, second floor. Once actually won the second floor. Cool.
yeah, we're gonna have to put gun dryer down. Just like, wow, there's a massive moth in my room. That's cool. Hi, moth. What are you doing? Go away. My window's open. That's why. I just closed the window with the moth still in here. That was kind of clever. But I'll sort it out later. Well, unfortunately, killing Gand Rider is what triggers Grapple Voyage to appear. Um, it would be pretty cool to skip the boss and somehow get the item, but that's way beyond anything anyone's ever found in any of the Prime games. Considering they're all built on the same engine, that probably would have been found in Prime 1 or 2 already, and transferred over than being found in Prime 3. But yeah, that would be pretty cool, admittedly. <laughs> But yeah, basically Doom Breed Android to save this run, which is something I'm not very happy about saying, Kappa B, but whatever. Um, when am I skipping this cutscene? I'm potentially saving time on this split. My movement's been pretty good. Yo, Moth, chill out, yeah. It's like 14 minutes and then I'll put you outside and you can fly away. Oops, going that way. Getting out of that tunnel is really strange. Sometimes you can get an instant unmorph. Sometimes it takes like a second for the game to let you unmorph. You'll always unmorph facing that thing, but if you get the instant unmorph, sometimes you'll be facing backwards. Like, it's really strange. Um, maybe. <laughs> I don't think he very much wants to necessarily, but he might do it if it becomes easy enough just to add it in. We'll see. Um, I am losing about four seconds on this split. Or two, okay. Yeah, we'll see. Um, the issue with Prime 3 Randomizer is it needs a, a lot more restrictions than Prime 1 and Prime 2 does. So they'd have to kind of work with the modding tools a bit so they can make um, Prime Randomizers with restrictions and then they'll be able to make it for Prime 3 properly. Samus, we have gained Now we'll be able to... It's time to end. Once you rendezvous with the... I look forward to fight. Yeah, I guess. Pretty much is. Um, if you fixed PED and you fixed one energy tank, and you made it so that you get hyperball at some point in Brio, and you made it so that you get plasma beam at some point in Alicia, then you could probably make it fully randomized without being uncompletable. Um, there's actually not as many restrictions as you think, but um, a lot of them, like a lot of items go towards getting other items, and so you can kind of cut out the chain, go straight to the last item, and then proceed. So, I mean, all what you could do is somehow hack the game so all the areas are open at the start and you can just freely roam about, and that would work pretty well. It'd be pretty interesting as well. Like, have the, hack the, like, map flag so that you have everywhere open from the start of the game except maybe phase. And then continue from there. I mean, you know, you start with quite a few items anyway. Like, I mean, you'd have to go grapple swing early on ish before Elysia as well. But, like, Elysia needs hyperball and grapple swing. It doesn't need anything else in Brio. Pirate Homeworld needs plasma beam and nothing else in Brio. No, nothing else in Alicia and Screw Attack, possibly, um, from Rio. But there's not really any rooms that directly require it. It's just more the chain of events you have to go through to get to the seeds to be able to get those items that is the longer bit. But yeah, hacking the map so that you have everywhere open from the start of the game would be the best way to do a Prime Free Randomizer. It also means you can do it Alicia before Hyperball because you'd be able to free new roam around Alicia. And stuff like that. It'd be pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Phase. Phase, 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 phase. 
four splits left. It's time to save him three of them. Um, Dark Samus was pretty decent. I think it's maybe two seconds off my gold, or maybe I got gold, I can't remember, but it's unlikely to save time on Dark Samus. But yeah, basically, here we go. Yeah, just don't skip the cutscene, that's cool. <laughs> Whatever. Mashing A and B and it's just ignoring me. Um, I have half batteries, I'm fine. Wondered if I had low batteries, but I have half, so I'm fine. Or at least... More than a quarter. Yeah, just in case anyone didn't know, you can... The little bars at the top of the screen um, tell you how much battery you have left in your Wiimote, which is pretty awesome. It's a pretty nice touch instead of having like an annoying thing that pops up and it's like, beep beep, you have low batteries. It just kind of subtly tells you at the top of the screen. Which is pretty awesome. Train it at last seed dive, he yeah, has the best face down this game, you're a face to enjoy it. Phase on overall well. Um yeah, if you fix PED and you fix an E-tank so that you always can use um PED, because otherwise I think you soft lock when you start the PED test, because it will try and give you an E-tank that you don't have. Well it'll try and give you energy and you won't be able to activate hyper because you won't have enough energy in your soft lock. So I was going to order a shirt um, that was like Prime Free Base before ESA, but now I only have a week, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get it in time if I order it like today or like tomorrow. So I probably left that a little bit too late, which was kind of silly, unfortunately, but I guess I'll have it for future runs. Okay, kind of a cool skip in this room. Um, this guy's going to mess me up. No, he's not. We're good. Um, yeah, he is. Okay, so unfortunately, Retro put a stupid thing in this game to try and stop people ghetto jumping, which is that if you touch a slope in midair, you can't jump again. Um, what happened now is I was slightly too high to get underneath that kind of ledge I was trying to go, and I touched the ledge, and the ledge counts as the slope, so... GG. I fell down, because I couldn't jump again. Yeah, I mean, like, you'd be able to pick up, like, hyper grapple where normal grapple is or whatever, like... You know. I wonder if you actually need grapple to go back across that room or if you can manipulate the terminal pool. Interesting. Hmm, I should have to try that out somewhere. That's a good question. But no, Frankly Randomizer would be pretty cool. Also, what would be pretty cool is to give um, people the same seed and then like do like a randomized trilogy race. <laughs> and see so you can get the max percent. Oh, uh, I didn't skip this guy. You can skip that guy but with a wall time boost, but it's pretty precise and kind of semi-random. So, but you can um, boost when you're um, bouncing up from him, and if you're on the right kind of side, you'll boost off him, and if you're not, your boost won't do anything. And so I clearly just fell down in the wrong position. Kind of annoying, but die please. Um, yeah, these guys drop from the ceiling, but if you hit them. Before they land, they die instantly. And that was really quick, actually. Okay. Cool, let's go. Practicing my mash with Dark Samus. Ooh, I have to say, I'm getting pretty kind of nervous and excited right now. Like, yeah. This is pretty intense. I'm also kind of tired, so that's not really helping. <laughs> okay, seedling, please don't be a massive dick. by that Metroid. Um, I did a lot less damage than I would have wanted to do on that phase. Um, be the 230, but... Dun dun, but... Oh my god, phase the blood spot is so real.
Oh, that was kind of silly. I didn't need to do that because he actually didn't come for me. Oh. Well. Unfortunately, that's usually where I finish the ceiling, um, so isn't going amazingly well right now. Getting pretty bad damage rolls, I think, off my charge beams. Okay, decent. Same time. Get the health. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, save some time. Cool. There we go. Pretty sure this can't be 229 guys by the way. Oh why did I deactivate that? I need that. It wouldn't work as well, I don't think Flygon and people would find it more offensive. I mean Blood Spot's a bit of harmless fun because it's like lol, but what are you five? It's very childish humor, so it's very inoffensive. It's part of what makes it so great. Um, yes. Um, especially for the seedling, there's some weird bug, um, as in glitch, that you can just get like ridiculously high damage rolls, um, up to precisely one third of its health on a single charge shot, and that's how the strat works in the TSC, and I can't find a consistent way to replicate it on PAL, so that's really annoying, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah. And this is really bad. Like, really, really bad. Okay, ooh, that was close. Alright. Good first round. Okay, decent RNG as long as he doesn't attack again, which he might. Unfortunately, if he does or not, that's pretty random. Ah, uh, okay, this is okay because this fight, this attack is like, oh, you firing Dark Samus at me, what a shame. She's dead. Dark Samus doesn't hang around for very long. I'm stuck. Yeah, I was gonna say he loves me, but he doesn't. Maybe he does, I don't know. Boom. Oh! I wanna retime that, I think that was sub 317. <laughs> but yeah, that's the run. Cool. Minus two minutes. Um, unfortunately, that's not. That's not. A 229. That's a 230, though. I'm pretty sure that's a 230. So yeah. Cool run. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is my first world record. Oh, I have a thousand tweets. Dude, my thousandth tweet was Gendrider is amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. But yes. Um, the one in Alicia is 217, the one on the Olympus is 242. Yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, we're gonna wait around for 6 minutes so we can get the in-game time just to make sure. Pretty sure this is a 2.30. Pretty sure it's not anything else, but there's always a chance, you know. Yeah, thanks guys, thanks for sticking around and supporting me during these runs. It's pretty awesome.
Oh, wait, wait, ooh, hang on. We're... We're finding a ray target, by the way, guys. Hmm. Let me find someone to raid. Oh yeah, I guess I'll talk to people with Mumble, lol. War, 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 war! Get hide. Need. Do 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 do. Is there anyone I want to raid? Raid, 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 raid. Uh. Oh, dude, I know who I'm reading. Baby, baby. Baby mm. found someone to raid. In the vast regions of space, this victory is just a twinkle. The question is... It depends how strong people are gonna raid. Are you guys gonna raid very well, or are you guys gonna raid pretty slut badly? Because that's gonna depend... That's gonna change who we raid. It's how are you guys feeling about raids. Are you feeling pretty active? Are you gonna go destroy someone's chat? Or are you feeling like, ah, oh, we'll go do a couple of messages and be pretty chill about it? It looks like it's gonna be JRP and Doomberry. And possibly me. This <laughs> is just lol. <laughs> but we have two choices right now. So we'll see what happens. Hentai Tim E Raid. Who's that gonna be? I'm gonna say Hentai That's Time Raid. Oh. oh. Now'd you get it? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm just like, what's an E Raid? <laughs> I screwed up typing. We'll see you guys with the fans. Shall we made the Shall we raid the man of the shadow? Huh? Shall we raid the man of shadow? I don't know. I assume you understand what I mean. No, but oh yeah, I do. Yeah, um, possibly he's one of them. It depends if people are gonna raid a lot. Because I might try someone else. Actually, yeah, I know. I know who we're going for. Oh crap, let's go. It's not not. Right. Sorry, man. Are we breakers ing No. Eh. But yeah, don't worry guys, the raid will be soon. We just gotta wait for these credits, man. And this is the most <laughs> intense part of any run that's like close to a boundary of time. And it's like, ah. But yeah, I'm, re I'm definitely retiming this run. Um, that and the fact that I did a... pause in the middle because I had to go answer the phone. What do you mean a boundary? Oh wait, did I reset and not have to pause in this run? Was that after the reset? That might have been after the reset, so I might not have to- I'm, I definitely want to retime this run though. Because this is probably sub 317 real time. But yeah, thanks everyone for sticking around during the credits. Here we go guys, here we go. You might want to mute for spoilers unless you want to feel like spamming. Me? I don't care about the spoilers, I don't... <laughs> it's like that last name. It's just like... Okay, so here we go. You see, you see here we go. Near. Here we go. Just! <laughs> just! Uh, okay, it's not...